Hey everyone, this is just going to be a quick video because I wanted to announce that I was a guest on the Actual Astronomy podcast with Chris and Shane. I'll link to their website in the description and I'll pin a comment with a link where you can listen to the episode or you can download it and hopefully subscribe to their podcast on whatever podcast listening website or app that you use. I do know that some of my subscribers also listen to this podcast, and I highly recommend checking them out if you haven't already. I'm on episode 194, and we discussed visual observations and sketching along with some of my techniques and the sketching gear that I use. One of the things I love about this podcast is it strays away from a lot of the other astronomy podcasts that I listen to, which mainly focus on the physics and the science of astronomy. This podcast is excellent for anyone who enjoys looking up at the night sky with a main focus being on visual observing and different types of gear. If you're looking for some suggestions for new gear, you might get some good ideas from them. I know I sure have. Even if you're not looking into getting new gear, it's nice to hear people talk about visual astronomy from observing reports to even the setbacks that kept them from getting out to observe and what they plan on observing. They also post episodes of upcoming objects to look for each month, which can be handy if you're struggling to figure out what to observe next, like I do. There's a challenging object that they mention, which I've added to my list, which is the galaxy Leo 1 near the star Regulus. It's a dim dwarf spheroidal galaxy that I think could be a lot of fun to try and tease out next to such a bright star. Similar to NGC 404 Mirax Ghost, this is an 11th magnitude galaxy, but due to its larger size, it could be harder to spot than NGC 404 due to surface brightness. So again, be sure to check out episode 194 of the Actual Astronomy Podcast. And if you're not subscribed here, be sure to subscribe because I have some more videos coming out soon. And that way you'll get notified when I post those. I plan on having my review of the Apertura 12-inch Dobsonian posted in the next week or two. Well, that pretty much wraps up this quick video. Thank you very much for watching and clear skies.